was your weekend? I haven't been here all morning inconspicuously blending into the surroundings so I could conveniently bump into you. My weekend was okay. I had a date. You mean like a play date with your cousin? No, like a date date with a boy. What did you do? I also had a date date. Really? With whom? Just, just. Where'd you go? Wow. Look at the size of that pigeon. Ew. Oh, there you are, Adam. Anyway, I don't know about you, but my date was awful. I'm not sure what it is, but I can't seem to find the right guy. Have you ever considered you're not looking in the right places? For instance, the science lab. I don't know. I'm starting to think there just isn't a guy out there for me. Oh, he's out there. Closer than you think. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? I think I am. Maybe you and I should... Set each other up? <laughs> I'll find you a date, you find me a date. You took the words right out of my mouth. And some extra ones I didn't know were in there. Great, then we can double date. And just so I don't accidentally fix you up with the girl you went out with this weekend, tell me who she was. Oh, uh, her name is, uh... Adam, where'd you go? Hey, Echo. Cool, a fountain. I wish this fountain would come alive. Ow! <laughs> this wishing fountain works. There's so many things I want to wish for. I need your help. I... <laughs> Kirby, what happened to you? That wishing fountain in the quad is amazing. All my wishes came true. <laughs> well, all but one. <laughs> Never mind, there it is. I have a problem. I might have accidentally agreed to find Echo a boyfriend. Why would you do that? You're in love with Echo. Well, more like creepily obsessed. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> Since I don't want Echo to fall for someone, I'm going to find her a guy who's totally unappealing. Perfect, then she'll be angry and never talk to you again. That's not what I'm going for. Oh, then that's a terrible idea. Hi, Ivy. I need your help setting someone up. Isn't Mrs. Stropperson? Because she's not exactly the cream of the crop. No, she is made from it. Actually, it's Adam. Oh, why'd you say his name? I just forgotten he exists. I just need to know if there's someone he's into. Someone he talks about all the time. I don't think so. He mostly talks about science. Like the other night, he was going on and on about sound waves or something. It was all echo this and echo that. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard him mention a girl, Echo. <laughs> Wait a second. That's it! How could I not have realized it? Adam loves science. <laughs> I need to find him a girl who's into science. I thought about what you said. I guess I have no choice but to fix Echo up with a decent guy. <laughs> Excellent. For your trouble. Whoever this guy is, he needs to be someone who won't make a move. What about that guy? He never moves. Okay, say it again. Who do you love? I love Ivy Young. Your turn, who do you love? I 
Love, Ivy Young. <laughs> Wait, that's it. Hutch is in a committed relationship with Ivy. Oh. I still need to explain this to you, don't I? Oh. I'll trick Hutch into being Echo's date by telling him it's a field trip for science class. He won't make a move because he's head over heels for Ivy. Now. Oh. Well, my plan to set Adam up is failing. Is it because your plan is to set Adam up? I've been trying to find him a girl who's into science, but they're all so shy and introverted. They won't even talk to me. And that's a bad thing? All they talk about is science. Ugh. I'm no scientist. And? And what? I was just telling you I'm no scientist. You're not a scientist, but if I were a scientist, I might be able to get some of those science girls to talk to me. Well, I don't know if this helps, but I'm also no mathematician. <laughs> Welcome to the first meeting of Finnegan's Girls Only Science Club, the Gal Ileos. <laughs> Please welcome, to discuss something boring, Dr. Zeko Iselswift. Good day, ladies. Today I present to you a breakthrough in cloning technology. The cloned head of Leonardo da Vinci. Wow. It's me, Leonardo. I know you are here for the science, but first, how many of you belladonas are a single? <laughs> Do you really need to ask? <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, Mr. Da Vinci. I'm a girl with a question for you. <laughs> yes, you with a very lady-like arms. How did you develop your theory of the Vitruvian man? I ask because I'm a real girl, interested in science. <laughs> I will I tell you, because I am the real Leonardo. Cloned head. Forget science. You ladies should be more concerned with finding a man. You're supposed to be talking about science. Yeah. yeah. Some of us went through degrading measures to be here. There's more to life than just science. There are cute scientists. No, there aren't. Get them. Every head for themselves. Oh, Come back. Or at least clone me some of each. Hey, Ach see you at the science field trip tonight. Mr. Young invited you too? Oh. Uh. Yes. I guess he did invite me. A girl who's not him. What is going on here? Why are you talking to another girl? Especially one so smart and ugly. I thought you were shallower than that. <laughs> Although, to her credit, she does have very ladylike arms. There's nothing going on here. I have a boyfriend. Right. And I have a brother. Hutch, we're through. Uh, no, no, no. You have to stay together. Just one more night. Don't worry. I'll get over Ivy. Especially now that I know there'll be girls with ladylike arms at this thing. Well, that didn't work out. Those science girls are rude and unpleasant. And they try to steal your man. <laughs> What am I going to do? I just want to find Adam the type of date he deserves. I mean, he's a really good guy. He's sweet and kind and funny and smart. He's not any of those things. <laughs> but he is to me. He's always there when I need him. He puts me first, even when he's busy with other things. Wait, 
Has it been right in front of me this entire time? Is it possible that Adam likes me? That he wants us to be together? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to what he likes. Actually, I don't really pay attention to him at all. In fact, I don't really pay attention. What were we talking about? Maybe Adam is the right guy for me. I'm gonna see where this goes. I'm gonna set him up with me. I mean, why wouldn't I want a guy like Adam? Here's a list. Now that Hutch is no longer an option, I still need to find Echo a date. Kirby, did you wish for a hat made out of spaghetti? No. I wish for a hat made out of linguine. Stupid fountain must be broken. What am I going to do? If I set her up with the worst guy ever, she'll be mad at me. If I set her up with the greatest guy ever, they could end up together. Wait. Maybe this fix-up thing is a chance for me to make a big romantic gesture. I'm going to set Echo up with me. You just said you can't set her up with the worst guy ever. I feel like we're talking in circles. Think about it. Echo shows up with a nice girl and you show up with you. I mean, sure you have slender arms, but that's not a foundation for a long-term relationship. Maybe you're right. I need to find someone who seems like a real date. Someone I can trust not to make a move. Hey, Adam. I'm pretty excited for tonight. And I think I found you the perfect girl. And I think I found you a really great guy. Derby. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, are you surprised it's me? Or are you surprised he called me a great guy? Because I'm surprised by both. You're setting me up with Derby? Sure. He's a great catch. Derby and I are friends. Well, sometimes the person you're meant to be with has been right in front of you all along. That's what I thought. Great. So we're on the same page. Anyway, who'd you fix me up with? Oh, um, it's a surprise. Who wants to go out with Mr. Young? <laughs> Give it up. No girl wants to date some science nerd. Is it true? Why do you think I started painting? OK, Derby, you remember the plan. Be nice to Echo, but not too nice. Got it. When do we make a break for the chopper? There's no helicopter in this plan. Artie, cancel the chopper. It's going to be weird being on a date with Echo, but not with Echo. You know, maybe this double date is a chance for you to get over your futile obsession with Echo. You'll be with another girl. Go for it. Just for once, say, what the hey? Hi, Adam. Here's your date. <laughs> what the hey? Actually, her name's Haley. She's Mrs. Stropperson's daughter. <laughs> You fixed me up with a scarecrow? Yeah. I mean, you two have so much in common. You're an educator, her mom's an educator, you're at the top of your field, she stands in the middle of a field. I hope Adam isn't mad I set him up with a scarecrow. I was really grasping at straws. No pun intended. <laughs> no, who am I kidding? Pun intended. <laughs> I really thought Adam liked me, but now I'm on a date with Derby. That's it. If I flirt with Derby, then I'll see if Adam gets jealous. Then I'll know if he's interested. I just have to pique Derby's interest with makeup. I'm not going to do what you did and stuff my bra. <laughs> So, Haley's pretty cute. And she doesn't seem the type to kiss and sell. 
You might be onto something. This is an opportunity for Echo to see me in a new light. If I lay the charm on Haley, maybe Echo will realize what a great boyfriend I'd make. That's a good idea. Except for the part where you have to charm Haley. And the part where you seem like a great boyfriend. And the part where it's a good idea. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, Derby, you're so funny. Really? And handsome. Really? Hey, Lee. A chew. Looks like I've got a case of hay fever. So, Echo, do you want a break? No, I don't want a break from you. I want us to be together forever and ever. <laughs> but I will shoot first. It's your turn, Haley. Let me show you how a player plays this game. <laughs> the key is to get physical, as in physics a cool. <laughs> the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, except in the case of longitudinal sound waves, where the sound is only reflected in a coherent manner if the dimension of the reflective surface is large compared to the wavelength of the sound. <laughs> Baby. You get the idea. Derby, why don't I show you how to use a cue? Okay. Playing pool is fun. Derby, can I talk to you? Alone? What are you doing with Echo? Hey, well, the girl's obviously got a case of the derbies. <laughs> anyway, you should be more concerned about your own date. For a scarecrow, Haley sure doesn't scare away the guys. Hey. <laughs> shoo, shoo, get! <laughs> so, where were we? Well, I was right about here. You know what we should do? Something else. We could grab some milkshakes. Seems harmless enough. And that's how you drink a milkshake. Is it really necessary to show them how to drink a shake? Hey, drinking a milkshake is harder than it looks. Just ask your date. Derby, this might be a little forward of me, but what do you say to a second date? We'll have Derby's answer right after this. <laughs> What's going on? I can't believe I hadn't seen it before. We started as friends. I guess sometimes the person you're meant to be with has been right in front of you all along. I'm going to tell Echo how I feel. You don't have feelings for Echo. I do. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what? I should just be honest. I'm going to tell Echo how I feel. Good luck, but I think she's pretty into me. <laughs> Echo, can I talk to you for a second? In private? Sure. I just wanted to say that that milkshake made my tummy hurt. We should call it a night. Oh, OK. If that's all you had to say. It is gas pains. <laughs> what else would I say? Fine. I guess all that's left is a good night kiss. Oh, OK. <laughs> 
Jerby! <laughs> what? No, stop, I can't kiss you. Why not? Because I'm in love with someone else. Haley Stropperson. Sorry, man. I know Haley's your date, but I think the two of us are gonna bail. <laughs> well. So. I guess tonight didn't go as planned. <laughs> yeah, we really failed at fixing each other up, huh? Maybe someday we'll each find the person who's right for us. Maybe. Mamma mia! Get together already! Well, I guess we're not that terrible at setting people up. Derby and Haley are really hitting it off. Yeah, but I feel like having a girlfriend has changed Derby. It has not. <gasps> well, at least he's helping keep the birds away. <laughs> Why did I open my mouth? 